Oi, eu sou o Trevor Steins e você está no Febre Team. Yep. Got it, boom. I speak Portuguese. <laughs> Hi, my name is Trevor Steins. Uh, I play Jason Blossom on Riverdale, and I'm here, and I'm gonna read some comments that Brazilian fans have left about Jason. So, man, Jason Blossom was one of the biggest deaths in a TV show. He creates a whole season with only his death. Jason Blossom, Jason Blossom in all caps. It was an interesting thing to play a character who, uh, who dies in the first episode of a series, but then whose legacy, I suppose, continues to uh, influence the series as uh, as it goes on. Uh, each episode you learn more and more about him. <laughs> I miss when my only concern was to know who killed Jason Blossom. Yeah, I mean the show has added layers since then. Uh, it's definitely gotten more and more complicated with with the mysteries and the, the character development, but yeah, it was, a, it was a really fun mystery to try and find out who killed Jason Blossom in the first season. <laughs> Jason Blossom, why so handsome but so dead? That is a good question. <laughs> Um, I don't know so much about the first part. <laughs> I don't know if I would say that I'm handsome, but thank you. I appreciate the compliment. That's that's very sweet. <laughs> Guys, Jason Blossom will be in Riverdale's flashback episode. He'll play his younger father. Will we finally hear Jason Blossom's voice? Well, I don't want to spoil anything, but for those of you watching this video, you're hearing my voice right now. So this is what I actually sound like in real life. <laughs> but yeah, I did I, I did get the chance to to film the, uh, in the flashback episode to play a young Clifford Blossom, which was a really fun experience to be back on the Riverdale set. <laughs> My patience is the same as Jason Blossom's voice. It doesn't exist. Relatable. I feel that. Same. <laughs> it's just someone tells me who killed Jason Blossom that I stop watching. Hashtag Riverdale. I don't understand what that means. <laughs> but thank you for the comment, uh, regardless. And if you've stopped watching Riverdale, I would recommend you pick it back up because it's uh, it's still really good. Sometimes it's better to be like Jason Blossom. Mute. I know, guys. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Sometimes it is just better to, to keep your thoughts to yourself if, if they're not going to be helpful in any way. I always say that it's better to listen sometimes than to uh, speak your mind. Sometimes. A floor, a cold juice, and a TV show that never ends. I miss when the only problem with, from Riverdale was the death of Jason Blossom. Uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, they've, they've definitely added some, some complexities to the show, but I think it's to the show's benefit. I mean, it's, the show's still doing very well and, and people are still really liking it, so I really appreciate that. And thank you um, for the comment. I, it was, like I said, a really, really enjoyable experience to be a part of that mystery. The father killed Jason Blossom. I already suspected from the beginning of this gothic family. Yeah, that's that's smart. I mean, not a lot of people were able to guess. I think a lot of people were surprised when it was revealed that uh, Clifford did the deed. Um, I know I was I was certainly surprised when I found out. So thank you for the comment. That was a lot of fun. Guys, that was so much fun. Thank you for all the comments that you guys left me. Uh, once again, my name is Trevor Steins, and if you don't know, I uh, recently published a book of poetry called Leather and Glass. It's available on Amazon.com. If you have any interest in poetry, I recommend you picking it up. And uh, just thank you guys again. Thank you, Brazil. <laughs>